I love the Lord, and I love his word, and I know that he died for my sins. Still there are times in this life of mine when I need to hear it all again. How Jesus came down to men, shed his blood, and he died for them. Tell me how he rose again. Oh, tell me that story. How the king of all glory laid down his life for me. It's a story so precious. And oh, how it blesses. I think I want to hear it again. Tell me that story. God's only begotten is sometimes forgotten when things seem to go our way. More and more I am finding sometimes we need reminding of just what he did on that day. How he suffered the shame and the agony 
endured the cross in humility, all because he loved someone like me. Oh, tell me that story, how the King of all glory laid down his life for me. It's a story so precious, oh, how it blesses. I think I want to hear it again. Tell me that story. Got, you, got a little treat for you tonight. Come on, Tucker. Me and Tucker's going to sing you a song. Amen. Give Tucker a big hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then sings my soul, my soul. his holy name God is so good he's great he's great I got to say something right here tonight the other night Ethan's going to preach in a minute Lord willing I've got to I've got to obey the Lord right here Laying in the bed the other night, and I've got a little old dog that roams the neighborhood, goes everywhere, does everything. Been caught on camera way back in the middle of the woods, somebody else's territory. That dog gets killed in somebody else's territory, Brother Johnny. There ain't a whole lot I can say. But the other night, about 3 o'clock in the morning, I was laying there asleep. And there's an awfulest fight broke out on my porch. I come out of a dead sleep and grab my, just grab my light and headed out on the porch. And there's a dog that had my dog down on my porch, eating her alive. Now, if that would have happened in somebody else's property, she'd have died. Because there was nobody there to intervene. But that happened on my front porch. The enemy, Brandon, come on my territory and attack my stuff. 
I feel with everything in me that the enemy has come on your own front porch. He's trying to destroy you. He's trying to kill families in this church. I know it beyond a mirror. I feel it in my spirit. Don't you back down on me. Hey, when the spirit of the Lord is here and the spirit of the enemy is here, they're fighting against one another. Amen. I want you to know tonight the spirit of the Lord is greater than the spirit of the enemy. Amen. It's not a time to sit down. Amen. It's not a time to let the enemy tear us apart in our own front porch. Hallelujah. It's time to call for the master of the house to say, God, stop it. Amen. Come out of the house. I come out of that house. I run that dog plumb out of here. Amen. If I'd had a gun, you know what I'd have done? It was on my territory. Amen. You're sitting here tonight. The enemy's coming against you like a roaring lion. He's coming in your territory. I was singing to you tonight. You don't even know what to do. You don't know which direction to go. You feel like you're torn between. Amen. You're taking tore apart. Amen. Come on, help me now. It's time. It's time that we call for the king. It's time we call for the king. Amen. We rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood over your family. I plead the blood over my church. I plead the blood. I said I plead the blood over your family. I plead the blood in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the enemy in Jesus name. We need to stand up. It's ain't no time to let the enemy kill us on our own front porch. It's time we kill the enemy tonight. Amen. Don't let them kill you on your front porch. Amen. Fight, fight, fight. Come on, everybody stand up tonight. Amen. You're here tonight. You're being attacked by that enemy. Amen. If you're here and that's not you and you've got the power of God in your life, these families in this building, amen, that's getting torn to shreds by the enemy. And it's time we stand up. I said it's time we stand up. Amen. We need the anointing in Beth Eden Baptist Church. It's time right now to say you're not killing me on my front porch. Get out of here in Jesus name. Get out of here in Jesus name. Oh bless his holy name. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Don't let him run over you. Don't let him destroy you. Run him out of the country in the name of Jesus. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord in Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. You got to do a work tonight. We rebuke the powers of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the power of the enemy in Jesus' name. This ain't no game, church. This ain't no game. The enemy's trying to kill our people. The enemy's trying to destroy us. Amen. Let's don't sit back and let it happen in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
is this giant that defies the armies of the living God? I'll fight him. That's what he said, Randy. I'll fight him. It ain't because of my size or my slingshot that I've been practicing with, but it's because of my God. Hallelujah. We try to look at the size of things that's in people's lives and think they ain't no way. That's because we fight it with our own sword. We fight it with our own might. Amen. But David said, we're coming to you in the name of the Lord. The battle is the Lord's. I said, the battle is the Lord's. The battle is the Lord's. God will deliver you into my hand this day. That's what he said. And he did. And he's the same God. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap and say, I know my God's alive. He's alive. I said he's alive he's alive he got up so we could have victory John Thomas he didn't stay dead he didn't stay dead he's still winning battles I said he's still winning battles he's still winning battles if you give it to him he can win any battle that's in our life hallelujah hallelujah brother Jason Nunn and his mama went to the doctor She's come back with this report. The doctor says, I'm getting dementia. Starting to lose my mind. A few days went by, Bob. A few months went by. She told Jason this. Said, I got me on medicine to try to stop it and help it. They said, I can't feel God no more. It just makes me numb. I can't feel God and I don't know what to do he said mom quit the medicine and feel God and lose your mind brother John he said I come to the house one got off work and I went by there I'm going to take my oil and go anoint and pray for my mama got up on the front porch and listened and I said I heard a noise on the inside of the house and I didn't want to go in and disturb nothing so he said I put my ear up to the door and said I heard her saying I plead the blood over my mind I plead the blood over my mind I plead the blood over my mind amen the blood of Jesus is good for everything I said the blood of Jesus is good for everything hallelujah you need to plead the blood over your family plead the blood over your home Plead the blood over our church in Jesus' name. We need to quit let the enemy destroy us on our own turf. We need to rebuke him in Jesus' name. If you backslide and die in his territory, that's your fault. But you don't need to let him come on your porch and destroy you. Hallelujah. You need to run him off in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I believe. Hallelujah. I believe. I believe. Bless his name. Praise the Lord. Kendra, come sing that song he's playing, whatever it is. Y'all are singing before church. Bless his name. You stay on that altar as long as you need to. Till you know the yoke's gone. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Take me to the place where your peace and your love overflow. Oh, yes. Where my heart is set free from all shame and guilt, chains are up.
to the place where your angels never cease to cry. Holy, where the elders bow down and place all of their crowns at your This may be strange to some of you. Don't let this kind of stuff scare you. The Holy Ghost shouldn't scare you. Hey, there's more to church than just coming and saying amen every once in a while. There is a delivering power. If you're here tonight and the devil is trying to destroy your family, your family members, maybe you'd just like to come up here and get this flag. Take a victory march around the church just to let the devil know. You're not going to take my family on my own turf. I'm going to stand. Oh, Shama, Shama, he's everybody else run, but he pulled his sword out and stood in the patch of them lentils and said, I'm going to fight for what's mine. You're not going to steal what's mine. It's time we take what is ours back, church. We've given the enemy too much. In Jesus' name, in Jesus. As people march around the church, support them tonight. Support them because they know they can't make it without Jesus. But praise the Lord. If they'll give Jesus the battle, he's never lost one. And he ain't going to lose now. In Jesus' name. Bless your heart, red and red. I plead the blood over their minds. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes. We plead the blood oh, over the addiction. Oh, God, please, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Oh, bless your heart, Randy Red. Thank you, Lord. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. And somebody else tonight. You say, that's a show. Call it what you want to. It won't make no difference to me. They put the flag on the pole to tell the enemy the United States of America has taken this piece of land. We're not giving it up easy. Hallelujah. Don't give it up, church. Don't give it up. Somebody else tonight want to march around the church. There it is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
He often lets me sit at his yeah, table. Yeah. All the enemy can do Just watch is me. watch me. I heard a pastor this week tell the story. One Father's Day morning at the back of the church, he had corsages. Is that how you say that? Flowers? Is that the right word to say? And allowed the, the children during the service to go get one of those corsages depending on their father. Or just maybe you didn't have a godly father and he might not be there or they might be somebody in the service that's like a father to you. The story goes like this, that a young man came to the pastor as he brought his flower and he looked up in the eyes of his pastor said, you've been so much, I never had a daddy that loved the Lord but you've been my father. I want to pin it on you. The pastor said that as the young man started pinning, he stuck it through his shirt and his undershirt right on down in his skin. And he said, I never had the heart to flinch. I stood right still till he worked it back through the skin and pinned it. Just a little while, Brother Johnny, here come another young man and another young man and another young man. He said, when that service was over, my whole chest was covered in corsages. He said, after service was over, when I went into my study to change clothes, everywhere I had a corsage, I had a bloody spot. <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd. And while we give him the glory, on a Sunday night for being so good, he stood right still on Calvary while they drove the nails. And the bloody spots began to show as it run down the cross. But still yet today we gain the benefit of the fatherhood saying thank you Lord for being my shepherd. Thank you for being my father. Thank you for being my friend. How are you? Oh come on now. Has he, been, has he been like a father to you? When the world throwed you away he stood right there and said I'll be your father. I'll be your mother. I'll be your friend. Whatever it is. What a friend we have in Jesus. Jesus, ain't it good to know that we got somebody that went all the way. He paid the price so he could buy you. I said buy you and adopt you in and take you to a place after a while and live forever with you. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Hallelujah. Maybe somebody would like to say something. Don't interrupt the Holy Ghost. Only you know if it's right or not. Amen. Maybe you got something you'd like to say tonight, real quick. How about that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. 
Some of you was bitten by the addiction of methamphetamines, marijuana, heroin, cocaine. How'd you survive? The blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And I like this too. When a piece of pottery breaks earthen vessel, the only way to seal that crack up is to go out in the field and get a lamb and pull a tick. And grind that blood, which is the blood of the lamb. And put it in that crack. And the blood of the lamb will give that vessel another chance. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, have you ever made a mistake? I have. What'd you do? I come up here. And that lamb took that blood. He said, I tell you what I'll do. I'll give you another chance. Yeah. Oh, if you've ever had more than one chance, just thank the lamb. Just thank the lamb. He brought you out of darkness. But we've all made mistakes. But just thank the lamb. How'd you ever get out? Amen. Of being a being a slave. Amen. That's what they'd ask them, I believe. How them children of Israel ever get out of there? They'd have to thank the lamb, the blood over the door and on the lintel. That's the only way we got out. That's the only way you're going to get out. It's through the blood of the lamb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody else got something you want to say? Somebody else.
See, it's very easy to stand up and tell all the victory stories. But it's hard to tell where I messed up. Sometimes we need to hear that. Because when you mess up, you feel like ain't nobody else ever done that. And the Savior won't ever take me back. But I got great news. He lived the same way that he died. With his arms wide open. But now here's the catch. When you come up here on the altar and you say, I'm done, I'm tired, I want to start all over. There's some things in your life that you're going to have to destroy. There's some places you're going to have to destroy in your life. There's some contacts, there's some people you're going to have to cut ties with. Come on now, talk to me. Amen. You can't, you can't, you can't just can't get right straight up off the altar and go right back to the hog lot and expect not to eat out of the trough because you will. Amen. But when he when he changes you, when he saves you, he changes you. He takes you out of that hog lot and puts you to king's table. But you have to do away from the do away with the world's paraphernalia. Amen. You got to get rid of it. You got to come out from among the world and be separate. Amen. He changes you. Amen. He does something nobody else can do. Then he turns the commandment around to you and said, now you got to come out and be separate. Yeah. I, amen. I don't want the world to make fun of me. I'd rather be made fun of every day of my life than to hear him say, depart from me. Yeah. Amen. If I got to crawl the whole way, it'll be worth it to hear him say, welcome home, thou good and faithful servant. Yeah. Keep on pressing on. Yeah. Hold on to the bloodstained banner. It'll be worth it when you get over there. If you've got to come to the altar every service you get on the altar amen rebuke the devil in Jesus name amen hallelujah don't be ashamed to say I messed up because it'll be really embarrassing to you on judgment for him to uncover your mistake that you never asked forgiveness of and then say depart from me get on the altar hey some things you ain't got to tell me Tell Jesus. Amen. You can tell me your whole story and never ask forgiveness. You'll still go to hell. Yeah. But ask forgiveness. Yeah. Caitlin, I love you like you're my own daughter. But I have to tell you, if you give it all to him here, there's some steps you got to take. Amen. 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 You may need to go to the bathroom as soon as you get home and put some things down the septic system. Be accountable to somebody. Be accountable to somebody. Are y'all hearing me? I'm going to stand in judgment. I'm the pastor at Beth Eden Baptist Church and I don't want to be a jerk, but do you realize I'm the shepherd here and I'm responsible for what I tell you and I want to tell you in love. Amen. I love you with all of my heart, but I want us to stroll over heaven together and I can't pat sin on the back. Amen. If I do, I'll be held in judgment with your blood on my hands. Hallelujah. I want us all to go to heaven together. I want us all to go to heaven together. Hallelujah. Let's live right. Let's do whatever it takes to go to heaven. I said let's do whatever it takes to go to heaven. If he asks you to crawl, crawl. It'll be worth everything you ever do to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Read more than you've ever read. Go to church more than you've ever went to church. You're going to have to surrender your life totally. You're going to have to come out I heard a law enforcement officer, we're going to dismiss right here in just a minute. You say you're not going to let Ethan preach? I've not even looked over, but I know what he's going to say. Brother Johnny, that law enforcement said, when I walk, bust the door down of a criminal, first thing I do is go, pump that old shotgun. Because when I walk through the door and they hear that, they know there's a live round coming after me. 
you're going to have to surrender it. That's right. Just like there's a live ram coming after you. But he didn't come to take your life. He come to give it. Hallelujah. And if you go with him, you'll have peace that surpasses all understanding. Anybody else say anything on your heart before we close? Anybody got something you need to do or say? Feel like the Lord done some things here tonight. But the enemy don't like it. You know how I know? Because about 3 o'clock this morning I heard that same bark. I went back out on the porch and there was that same dog. But I hollered and beat the banister till I see it go out of sight. Because I don't want it on my turf. It's going to come back. But don't allow it. Don't give it a bed on your porch. Run it off. In Jesus' name. Lord, send a revival. Lord, send a revival. Lord, send a revival. And let Setting up the tent tomorrow afternoon in Black Mountain at 6 o'clock. If you want to go and be a part of that and help us or just give us moral support, you're welcome to go with us. Amen. If you're going to drive, see Brandon to see what the address is or will somebody can meet here. I'm always going to be halfway over there, so I'm just going on. But if you just want to gather here and bring the church van, that's good for me. That's what it's for. Pray that God moves in that meeting. Save sinners in that community. We're not out to proselyte. We're just out to see people get saved. People's looking for something real. Be sure it's real in your life. Shake hands, be friendly. Good night, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, Dad, baby.